guys, so I am trying something new. I finally set up my, my ring light. Um, so that's where you guys are right now. I wanted to do like a, a skincare routine. Um, just considering like I went out this morning. First the hair, right? Let's talk about the hair. So what I ended up doing this morning was I, I, I rinsed it, I sprayed it, I put some of, um, let's go back recommendations i put some of the product from lisa smiles the recommendation the coconut milk i'm gonna have to order some more um because i've been using it and it, it's amazing like the way it makes my bangs look and i got so many compliments on the texture of my curls today while we were out so anyway lisa smiles products um are awesome i just gotta get some more so this is the it's natural coconut milk styling foam i used as well as she recommended the eco style gel so i used that and it came up with these beautiful curls for my bang and i did the whole process where i i combed i sprayed it i combed through it i used that that brush i'm not pulling it out. i think it's under the sink i used the brush and then i twisted it into three sections and let it sit while i did my makeup today like most of it is gone right now but i'm gonna do like a thorough job of cleaning my face so let me put these away Oh, and then in terms of edges, I use, this is Go, Go I Play. I don't know. I tried it, um, edge control, and this one works really well with my thick hair texture. So um, just the edges around the edges was looking really good today too. Um, so anyway, so the hair, I think the hair came out the wash rag. So I'm literally putting it in the sink. Um, just to get a little moist, I'm going to use this. This is from Drunk Elephant. This is not something I've shared with you guys yet, but I use this for an initial makeup remover. It's Erase Milky Micellar. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Water, but it is to remove. So remove and refresh. So it removes makeup. So to remove, I'm reading from the back, to remove makeup, dirt, pollution, and bacteria from the face and eyes areas without sensitive, sensitization, irritation, or stripping skin acid mantle. Yeah, okay. So anyway, it's just bougie to the fullest, I guess. I don't know. However, we're gonna use it, and I'm just gonna put like an ample amount on the washcloth and wash, literally, put it, wash my face. No eyelashes today. I actually use the Man Eater. So if you're looking at my eyelashes, they came out pretty good, given that it's just my eyelashes and not the fall suits that I sometimes wear when I go out. And we're just gonna take the product off the face. So I'm gonna take it all off, including my drawn on eyebrows. If you see, at this point, my um, tinting that I did a couple weeks ago is pretty much gone. And this is what my eyebrows look like after they're threaded. So if you compare that to this one, you can see the difference in the definition in terms of what it looks like. They actually don't look too bad. I think she shaped them pretty well, but they're um, uneven. So you'll see the other one in a second. I'm gonna add some more of the product on here. And go to the eye Now what I'm gonna do is, just to make sure, I'm gonna use my black soap. So as a second precautionary measure, um, because it is important to get all the makeup off, I have another washcloth that I'm gonna use um, for my black soap. I told you guys before in a the black bag because it's, it gets messy. So here's a piece of it. I just take it and it's in a plastic in the Ziploc bag. 
but I'm gonna use black soap. I really like the black soap. Um, it's just really natural and it does well with my skin. I know every, everyone's skin is different, so what works for me may not work for you, but just share what I do. So, I literally, and I use black soap without makeup too. So every morning I use black soap and every night I use black soap. But when I wear makeup, I add that extra step of the water just to ensure that all of the product, or try to as best as possible. So, that's what we're doing tonight. Just making sure we have everything, right? And on Sundays, I need to be more consistent with this. I was doing it consistently before, and I fall off occasionally. Um, but I am gonna devote more time to doing this. Um, I usually used to, or periodically, I like to take my time with my skin, give myself a facial on Sundays. I have a steamer in here too. I don't know, I may pull that out tonight too because I really, my face really needs some love. It's just, I've noticed that I'm starting to break out and I never had acne as a teenager, but it's like at 35 and up, I noticed I break out, which started more when COVID hit and we had to wear masks and I was going to the gym with the mask on, my face was sweating. And it's really just my right side. The left is okay, it's breaking out a little bit now though, but it's just the right side where now I have spots on my face sometimes and it's frustrating because I've never had them. So I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to do with them. But I went to a dermatologist and she just said it was mask me at first. So she gave me some medicine and that, that worked okay. But then she also said to use Stridex pads, which now I have those in my gym bag. So if I go to the gym, um, I'll take those and leave them in the car and then wipe my face right after because the salty sweat makes me break out. And then also, she said it's my pillowcase and I need to change my pillowcase every night. I don't do it. Like, I, I'll flip it and I'll use the next one. So I try to be creative because I have like four pillows on my bed. So I'll flip them and I'll switch them as I do per week. But sometimes I forget because it, it's not on my mind, but I think actually talking it out loud is gonna help me hold myself accountable to it because that's self-care. Your skin is a part of self-care. You gotta take care of your skin. You gotta, you know, self-care is a lot. It's a lot of work, but who else is gonna love you more than you're gonna love yourself? And that includes your skin. So now that I said out loud, that's gonna hold me more accountable. Since I since I mentioned one of the videos, I mentioned that um, I needed to start adding the sunscreen SPF moisturizer to my morning routine. And since I said it, oh, I just noticed I have a bump on my chin too. Since I said it, I've been doing it more consistent. I've been doing it every morning. So this is helpful to me as well. All right, so now we've used the black soap. Okay, so now that we've used the black soap, I'm gonna wet my face again because I'm gonna give myself like a full, full like facial to some extent. So I'm gonna wet my face. This is another product. So these products, some of them, I haven't shared with you guys yet because they were in my cabinet. They, they, they're not a part of the line of what I showed you guys on, I think it was last Saturday, my, with my shopping haul at Ulta. But, so this is a Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial. So, um, you're supposed to use it once a week and apply and even lay it to, oh, I was supposed to be, it was supposed to be dry, so never mind. I was, there we go. To clean dry skin. So my skin is clean. And you know, it's dry. <laughs> um, and leave it on for 20 minutes. And then it says rinse thoroughly with warm water and pat dry. And then you can add the oil. So I'm gonna add it. It says a slight tingling may be experienced. It's a facial, right? So I'm gonna add it to my skin. And it's like a thick, creamy consistency. I'm gonna add it to my skin and let it dry. Yeah, it's tingling already. So it's definitely doing what it said it was gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my skin. I'm gonna put the timer on for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and take it off. Oh, 
But what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the day and I, I, I wanna use a steamer tonight. So we'll see. And there's a couple other things I wanted to do with my skin. We'll see, because the facial might just kind of do everything. I wanted to steam it. Then I have um, an exfoliator brush that I wanted to use. But we'll see. We'll see how far we get. But we're gonna start with the facial. Well, step two. Well, step 2.2, two, 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 because we washed our face. That was 1A and 1B, I'm going to say. So it's still to wash your face. All right? Okay. So that is the facial. I am going to put my timer on, and I'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Okay, guys, it's been 20 minutes. So it tingles when you first have the initial contact with the skin, but after as it dries, no tingling. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. And I figured this is self love Sunday. So we may as well do the whole full facial experience. So. I'm gonna do the same treatment too. I'm gonna soak a facial, so I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take it all off. Let this get nice and clean. Definitely should have put something around my hair so I don't get any product on my hair, but next time. I never did that before, but actually Lisa did it on one of her um on her vlogs she did regarding taking makeup off. So really good idea. Lisa smiles. So really good idea. I think I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree and find one of those things to kinda hold my hair back next time. That's a good idea. Oh, that feels so good, guys. My skin feels so good right now. It just feels so clean. Clean, clean. All right, let's go down to the next step. So I'm gonna show you guys my steamer. I'll show you how it works. That's the next step. Okay, guys, so a friend of mine bought this for me a couple of years ago and it's I, I find it helpful it's very zen is therapeutic but it also has benefits so if, if you're not if you don't know this is a rose quartz roller and you use it on your skin your face um, it's supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles and puffiness specifically around the eye area there's a vibrator so you can turn it on and it vibrates and you wanna use it in an upward motion, slowly and gently. In an upward motion, you don't wanna go down on the skin, since as you age, our skin, you know, gravity pulls it down anyway, so we don't wanna aid in that when, when we're giving ourselves facials, right? So you wanna always move it in an upward motion, gently, uh, against the skin. Even on the nose, if you can, it feels a little, where I don't know since the bone and even on the forehead just slowly upward motion it feels really good too it feels like a, a massage on your face if that, if, <laughs> if that makes sense but it feels really good it feels really good okay so I like to use this before and after my steam treatment so I'm gonna take this off and there's another component to it Put this piece on and this is for your your eyes the puffiness on your eyes so you turn it on again and this you want to make sure since our skin is very delicate around the eye area you just want to tap it you don't want to you don't want to roll it around the eye area. you just want to gently place it move it and place it slowly and gently for a few seconds 
and start inward to outward. And that's supposed to help with some puffiness under the eyes. And that's it. That's all you do with this. So, my face feels amazing right now. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my steamer together. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, um, how to put the water in, and then you'll see the process. If you have, if you have not seen what I'm gonna show you guys. Okay guys, so here's an honest and um, transparent moment. I was looking at my, my, my table. This is the table I use for this because it's old and I don't care if it gets wet, I don't care what happens to it. And I'm like, should I, should I put the steamer on one of my, my nice cute end tables and make this whole situation? And I'm like, no. We're not doing that. This is real. This is the this is this is the real life of Chrissy, right? So we're not doing that. So this is the table I use. Anyway. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. This is my steamer, right? So this is the on and off switch for the steam. Then you can um put the ozone button on. I believe it makes the steam. I don't know what it does to be honest with you. I think it's supposed to give you more steam. I've never really checked it, but I, I don't turn that on that often. I just use the steam. So what's gonna happen is the steam comes out through this piece right here is, hold on, where you add the water to, there's a fill line here. You can fill it up to this point because if you go past it, once the water starts boiling, it can create a mess. So you just wanna make sure you fill it up to the max. You have to use distilled or filtered water. So I have a Brita water filter um, pitcher in my refrigerator and I put, I put water in from the faucet and pour it into the Brita and then I put it in this. I need like one of those spouts because that would be easier but I'm good, like this will work, it'll suffice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the water in here and I'm gonna just make sure I don't overfill the line. So let's do that real quick. almost at the max so I'm going to leave it there okay it takes a while for it to go down because it the thing is kind of tight okay then we put the we put this back the plug in back in and we shut this all right so I'm gonna plug it in and then I'll let you guys know so it usually takes a few minutes for the water to boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in, turn it on, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once it starts boiling. So I wanna share the entire experience with you. When I do the steamer, it's just a time for me to meditate and reflect and just enjoy, right? So what I do is I turn the diffuser on. Tonight I did add the lavender to the diffuser. It smells divine. And I lit my candle. I have the, which one is this? The Eucalyptus Springs. It smells really good. All the lights are off in my room. And here's the steamer. At this point, it's still boiling. But I did want to share with you guys ozone. In terms of the ozone, it's supposed to help get rid of additional impurities and clogged pores. So I am turning that on now. I turned it on and I'm gonna let it boil. Once it boils to its capacity and when the, the steam boils to the point that it's supposed to, the steam is gonna come out. And then I'm gonna put the timer on for, oh, it lit up, there you go. I'm gonna put the, it's still boiling. It hasn't boiled, but it's getting hot. So it's gonna come out here, the spout. And then I'm gonna literally sit here for 10 minutes. I'm gonna put my timer on for 10 minutes and I'm gonna play some music. Usually I play 
I like this um, station that I found on Apple Music. It's Lofi Christian. It's an instrumental kind of meditation um, vibe. Like, so I don't know if you guys have heard of Lofi Christian music, but I like to listen to it. Um, it's really relaxing and soothing. So I'm gonna go ahead. If you guys see, it's boiling. So we're about to get that steam coming out pretty soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself set up and enjoy my steam treatment for my face. All right, I'll, I'll touch base with you guys later. This feels amazing, guys. I just wanted to show you how the steam comes out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy it. All right, I'll catch up with you guys after. All right, guys, the 10 minutes is over. I just wanna share that it always feels so good when I do this. I don't take the time to do it as often as I should, which I, I used to do it once a week, but I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking, but the skin is very much moist. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go on to the next step of the skincare extra special edition treatment. Okay, so the next step part of the process is I am going to use the rose quartz again. Same process before, so I'm not gonna go through it again. Um, but I don't know. I feel like at some point I read somewhere to, to do this before you give yourself the, the facial and then after so I'm gonna do it again and I'll touch base with you guys for the next step okay guys so my skin feels really really good um, what I'm gonna do now is the tail end of everything I'm gonna put the black soap on again because I need to use my um, my cleanser brush I haven't used that at all and so I'm gonna exfoliate with the cleanser brush. I have like a scrub, oh, well, cause I use the, that, uh, what was it? I use the baby facial today. I'm not gonna use the scrub for my face, but I am, I do wanna exfoliate um, and get rid of some dead skin, which is really important. So we're gonna do that process. So I'm gonna lather my face with some more black soap and I'm gonna wet my cleanser brush. So here's my cleanser brush. Cleanser brush is also battery operated. It does vibrate. It has many functions. So once you click on it, you hear it. You guys can hear it. Then you press the button again. It does a different vibration. That one, I like this one. I like this one. So I'm gonna use this one on my face. Circular motions. I didn't put a lot of black soap on my face because I feel like it's pretty clean, but I just wanted to exfoliate. I haven't, I have not exfoliated yet. Honestly, it's been, it's been a couple weeks. I'm supposed to do it at least twice, two or three times a week. So I've been bad. I've been so bad lately. So I think I needed this. And for some reason, when I post about things, it keeps me accountable. So. Not I'm definitely gonna. I'm gonna. I gotta. I used to have like a skincare routine consistently where I would exfoliate. I had specific days to exfoliate on my calendar, and I have not been that scheduled lately. But we gotta get back on it. You know, our skin is important, especially the face. Like the, the face is the first thing you people see. Um, and you want to feel good. You want to feel confident when you walk out the house. You want to feel, oh, excuse me, guys, look, water coming in my eyes. You want to feel comfortable. You want to, hold on, soap in the eye. Whew, I want to break. Oh, goodness. 
Oh my god. Okay. You want to feel comfortable, and I just realized I still had some. Oh, the eyeliner. It w it wasn't coming out because I scrubbed it, and it still wasn't coming out. So this is good. Okay. So now the eyeliner is coming off. So you just want to feel confident in your skin. That's important. So you gotta take care of it for it to take care of you. So exfoliating is really important. And this is a very, it's like bristle, right? So it's not harsh, but you definitely feel, you definitely feel it on your skin. And I, I don't know how it looks. I don't know if it looks rough, but I'm, I'm not really going rough. But it feels good. So it feels like a little small, gentle, like scratch. So like if you had an itch, more soap. I gotta do better with this. But it feels amazing. It feels great. Go around my nose area. All right, so let's turn it off. I'm gonna rinse this off. I'm gonna wash my face off and then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, so face is all washed. I cleaned off my brush and put it back away. So, and it's out, so it's kind of literally sitting out. Let me show you guys. Hang on, let me show you what, what, where it is and how I maintain. So in my bathroom, I have it literally standing up. I wish it had a holder. It doesn't have a holder, but I like to leave it out so it can dry. So I just literally use the box as a makeshift holder, but there is a part behind it that can charge it. It just doesn't have a holder to hold it up. So we leave it there and I just leave the Rose Quartz Roller here as well. So um, that's where it is so it can dry. So I don't have any toner, which I feel it. So what I'm gonna do next is, and I'm almost out of this too. So I ordered some of this too. This is, I like heels dark spot corrector because I noticed the older I get sometimes I break out and then I have spots so we're working on that um and I also need to go back to this is all of this is helpful for me because now I'm like I need to go back to the dermatologist too um, because she has prescribed medication that she gives me so when I do have these adult acne breakouts um she gives me um some medicine prescribed medication that dries the pimples out and does really well with the discoloration too. So that I gotta put that on my list to call my dermatologist and schedule an appointment. It's time to re-up on the med on the prescription. Anyway, I like Kiehl's um, dark spot corrector, but I had this and it's, this wasn't bad either. And honestly, this is a little bit less. It's a lot less actually, and it still works. So we're gonna use this as good good model of Kiehl's discoloration correcting serum. I've used it. And it's pretty. It's pretty good too. Let's see. I think this is almost yeah I'm like low I like I definitely ordered some stuff today okay there's a little bit left <laughs> so use this on the spot and you kind of just rub it in rub it in rub it in and let it dry yeah. you don't need that much either so a couple drops is all you need and it, it's slightly like it's not a dramatic thing but it's like if you continue to use it consistently you do notice a change so we're gonna add that that's pretty much dry now what we're going to do is now we're gonna add some serum to our skin so we're gonna add the Based on the facial, they recommended the Drunk Elephant version Marula Luxury Facial Oil. So I'm gonna put a couple of drops of this in my hand. Also, this the TLC for, for Bramboo's Glycolic, Glycolic, excuse me, Night Serum. I'm gonna add this. I usually do this all the time, so I will show a simpler, daily, more manageable skincare routine. This is just something I should be doing once a week. I have not been doing it once a week, but, and I think that'll help with my adult acne too, being more diligent with it. Um, but I'll show you a simple routine, probably not tomorrow, but at one point I'll show you my simple morning routine, skincare morning routine, and then my simple evening skincare routine. Cause those I do consistently, but these, cause you know, it's a lot. So a couple of drops of this, 
with the marula oil and then the polypeptide cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that now. Just gonna put, literally you put everything on your hand together. A couple drops. And then you get a little bit, a tip, a dab of this. Now Dr. Kiehl's has this um, nighttime oil that I love. It smells a little bit like lavender. Okay, so when you're putting the oils in, same as the roll, foam roller, you want to go upwards. You want to always push defying gravity. You don't want to pull down because that's going to, like, we're, we're, we're going to help our skin, right? We don't want to, we, we want to go against gravity. So when we're putting it on our skin, we want to pull it up. This is a trick I learned. I went to a skincare class and they, that's what they told us. They also said to be very careful around the eyes because it's sensitive. It's the most sensitive area of the skin, but you want to always put the product on in an upward motion to attempt to defy gravity and not to aid in your skin falling, right? So that's it for that. And then for the night time, the, deciding on which one to use, I'm gonna use this one. So this is Drunk Elephant Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. You simply pump and I like to Put a couple do light drops around the eye. And then I slowly, once again, an upward motion. And it's a light, light, technically I should be tapping and not, um, not rubbing, but tapping for recommendation. But I like to get it all in there. So a light tap on that. And that's it. That is the whole um, extra special Sunday skin care routine. So hopefully that was helpful for someone. Um, I am going to go ahead and put all my products away, put the steamer away, kind of get that situated. And I think that's it. So I don't know if you guys have any questions about anything Feel free to shoot, put them, add them in the comments, and I will definitely answer any questions you may have. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a little bit.